So we've got some good news and we've got some bad news. I don't know why, but everything works. Everything checks out, works fine. But the jewel eyes don't want to have the low beams and the high beams on at the same time, which seems kind of strange. Like, wouldn't you want as much light as you can going down road when the high beams are working? Individually, they work just fine. But once I plugged it into the car, it they wouldn't work. I mean, it would just stay stuck on the low beams. The high beams would never kick on. So I don't know if that's a module thing that I need to start figuring out, but apparently I've got some figuring out to do. So I've gone through, I tested before I even plugged in my he headlights. I tested to make sure that everything that was happening that I wanted to happen was going to the right places. After I made my little pigtail, double checked with my voltmeter again, checked to see where I was getting power. And everything was working fine, but the computer, the little, this little guy is holding up the high beams from turning on with the low beams on. So I don't know if I need to try to find a new, I guess it'd be like an LED igniter module or, or LED driver. Maybe I need to find a new one of these guys. I think this is my issue where it's not wanting to turn it, not wanting to turn it on. Maybe I'll do some poking around in here and see what the heck's going on with it. So we'll run through all the functions. Over there is the jewel eyes. Over here is the regular to declare everything. So our turn signal, our low beam and our high beam. And then our turn signal is not hooked up. I guess I could hook it up real quick, but our turn signal might as well hook it up. So our turn signal, this is the one off the Acura. I haven't made a new one yet, but we will get a turn signal here just to do turn signal things. So there's a turn signal. Here is our daytime running lights are all five. And our low beams are the outside three, this side. And the high beam should be the inside two. Now I would assume they would all turn on, but it's not looking like they're all going to turn on. So let's check this out one last time. So if we turn on, we've got our daytime running lights and then our low beams and our high beams. So you can see the high beam kicks on on the driver's side, but not on the passenger side, which is weird. Then we could do turn signals. So the turn signal works. Everything's going through. It's just not flipping the high beam on for some reason. Now, it might not be the end of the world for me because I have an LED bar sitting there that I use pretty much as my high beams anyways. So that might not be the end of the world if I can't figure it out, but I think, I'm thinking that this little module is hanging me up with turning the high beams and the low beams on, which is weird because we see the function happening on the driver's side, but the passenger side is just not wanting to turn them on. And well, I'll show you with the jumper that it works, but it's just not wanting to kick on for some reason. It's really, it's really weird. So I've got an external power supply hooked up to the cable that's hooked up pretty much to everything, disconnected from the car section. And we've got our ground on if we do our daytime running lights, those ones turn on. If we do our low beams, those ones turn on. If we do our high beams, those ones turn on. If we bridge the gap between the low and the daytime running lights, daytime running and then we put power to both, it flips over to the low beams. But if we have our low beams on and we try to flip over and add power to high beams, it doesn't want to add high power to high beams, but they'll work if it's just powered by itself. So how am I gonna get power between the two, because if I have power going to high beams and then I touch the low beam, the low beam doesn't turn on. So why is it not letting that turn on? I wonder if it has something to do with my grounding. If it does need two grounds to be, the two grounds to be separate. 
shouldn't make a difference, but we'll see. So since I don't really know what's going on with the high beam, low beam, it might be something with the ground, it might be something going on with the auto, where it's trying to do the auto high beam function of this. I don't know why it would be, but the high beam and low beam should be able to get power at the same time if I give power to everything. So I think that the driver part of it is hanging it up. Either way, I don't think it's gonna fix it, but we'll try to fix it real quick. I'm gonna build this other harness. I've got the other side to build still, but I'm gonna leave the two grounds separate. This is the only thing I can think of that would be causing it to have an issue is these two grounds, maybe one needs to be grounded to something else. It's a shot in the dark, but right now it's really the only shot that I got. So we're gonna go ahead, start building this system and uh, merge these two and make our pigtail. It's been about six hours since the last clip. I've been struggling with trying to get these lights to work and I think I've figured out the solution. Well, I think I figured out the problem, but I haven't been able to figure out a solution. So for some reason, the daytime running lights and the high beams don't want to work together. The, for some reason, the high beams are not switching off the daytime running lights. The low beams will, but the high beams won't. So the high beams and the low beams won't work together. I don't know, it's hard to explain, but I think by just disconnecting how I'm getting power to the daytime running lights right now is how I'm gonna have to do it. I don't know, I'm probably gonna have to get like a module to switch off the daytime running lights, an external one, when the headlights get power. It's gonna be a tricky one. Either way, I've gone ahead, I'll show you what we've gone, we've got the progress done, and then I'm gonna call it a night. So let's get to checking these lights out real quick and then we'll get out of here. So within this hodgepodge of mess, I've gone ahead and taken my other uh, LED driver and if I go ahead and touch the low beams, get power to the low beams, or, excuse me, we want the daytime running lights first. And then I go ahead and put power to the low beams. Well, it switches the daytime running lights off and turns the low beams on. Fine and dandy. Daytime running lights. And if I go ahead and touch the high beams, nothing. So the high beams won't turn it off. But I can have the low beams and the high beams working together, but for some reason, if I have my daytime running lights and I touch the high beams, it doesn't work. If I have the high beams on and I try to turn the high beams on, try to turn the daytime running lights on, they work. But, if these are on and I try to turn the high beams back on, they don't work. So it will switch back from, from high beam to daytime running light, but it won't switch daytime running light and high beam. So I don't know what the consensus is gonna be with this one. Yeah, I don't know what the answer is gonna be because it'd be nice if it was like this one where my daytime running lights would come on and then I go ahead and turn my beat, high, my lights on and it turns the daytime running lights off. But I don't know why if I add now my daytime running lights are off, if I try to turn my headlight or my high beams on they won't do anything. It sparks, it gets power, but it won't do anything with this one connected. For right now, if I go ahead and plug what's into the car in, I've got the daytime running light completely cut. 
So the green wire has been cut. And if I go ahead and turn the lights on. First one, that's the one I want daytime running lights on. There's my low beams. There's my high beams. So I've got those functions, but I don't have daytime running lights. So, like I said, I'm gonna call it a night. I'm a little bit frustrated with the process, but it's all part of the process, right? It's learning, it's trying to make two systems. that were never meant to be together, coexist as one in one system. In the system is power, yeah. Either way, you're trying to make two systems be one system and there's gonna be headaches. There was headaches with molding the uh, back into our housings. There's been headaches with trying to get the right parts and not cutting the wrong parts. But I think we're on the right path. Keep chipping away. Keep doing things one at a time. We'll uh, keep working on this. I'll figure out some solution. It might take me a little bit, but we'll figure something out. We'll get, we will get something sorted for this so that these headlights will be done because I'm ready for them to be done. It's been a fun process so far, but it's it's been a process that's for sure so with that i'm gonna get out of here if you guys got any helpful information please leave it in the comments below i'd love to hear your guys' thoughts maybe you've gone through this and have similar problems who knows i'm trying to figure things out so you take it easy i'm gonna take it easy i'm gonna get out of here don't forget to subscribe hit that like bu button if you like what we're doing and uh Catch you on the next video. Take it easy, everyone. Peace. Jewel eyes are a very hard headlight to try to retrofit. They're, they're a tough one.